So to, today we will do the MongoDB setup using Docker. So as a prerequisite, you need to have Docker installed in your system. You can do the check by using Docker hyphen hyphen version. Okay, so if it is properly installed in your system, it will show you the current, uh, it will show you the installed version in your system. In my system, it is 20.10. Okay, so let's get started. I have opened a terminal. Okay, in that terminal, I'll do the sudo bash. Okay, why I'm doing the sudo bash so that it will not ask for again and again password when I'm using sudo with my commands. Okay, so as a first step, what we need to do, we need to pull the image from the Docker hub to Mongo image. So for doing this, you can use the command Docker pull and space your image name so mongo is my image name so it will take a couple of seconds and it will pull the data from the docker hub so once you will once the download is finished properly so you will be able to see your image or all the images by doing docker space images command so once you do docker space images you will be able to see all the images what you have downloaded from docker hub okay so it is almost done. It is 189. Let's wait for that. It is. Yes. So uh, we got the, the latest uh, Docker image. Now we can, we need to create a Docker container to check whether you have any uh, live docker container right now or not you can just do the docker ps okay you can check current right now i don't have anything so i'll create a docker container to create a docker container from the mongo image we need to type docker run command then hyphen hyphen name and then you need to provide your mongodb name so whatever name you want to type i'll just type mongo underscore test for this video okay i'll do hyphen d why hyphen d so that uh, i can create a container with the mongo image in the detached mode so that it is still interactive in, on your system okay i'll just do and mongo okay now what is this big number so this is a id this is the container id which just now got created if you will check using docker ps so this is the same id this is abbreviated since it is very long so this and this it is the same so you can check uh, you can see that this is the image name this is created 13 seconds ago and the status is up 12 seconds ago this is the port of the mongo and this is the image name this is the docker container name so after that you need to log uh, you need to sign to mongo how to do that you need to type command docker exec hyphen it name of your container that is mongo underscore test and bash okay so we are inside the bash now we need to type command called mongo sh this means mongo shell okay once you click on that voila you are inside mongo so why this test here it is showing because this is the test database you are it is currently using if you will want to see all the databases then you can do show dbs you will be able to see all the databases what currently you are using okay now to backtrack if you want to exit from the system you can just do exit again if you want to log in you just do mongo sh okay if you want to backtrack more now you can do exit now you came to bash now you did one more exit you came to mac so now you can check docker ps this is the currently active docker container right now if you want to stop it you can just do docker stop mongo underscore test okay you can do docker ps you'll not be able to see because it shows only the active uh, mongo active container now if you want to restart 
the container docker start mongo underscore test okay now it is started now if you will do docker ps you should be able to see again it is running in your system okay i'll i'll just post all the commands in the description you can just have a look and let me know if you have any questions thank you